Rev matching can make your downshift smoother, safer, and cooler. Much cooler than its boring name suggests. Hence why pros do it, and electronic systems have been developed for fancy bikes to do it for you. So today we're going to go over what rev matching means and how to do it, as well as why and when you might want to do it yourself. When someone refers to rev matching, they're referring to blipping the throttle for every downshift they make. The noise the bike makes might actually be more familiar to you than the term rev matching itself. You know how when you downshift regularly, your engine RPMs increase? Well, that's because the speed of your rear wheel stays more or less the same, but you engage a lower gear. And since your gearbox is what connects the rear wheel to the engine, selecting a lower gear in this situation speeds the engine up. Because just like your engine spins the back wheel, your back wheel can spin the engine if you're not accelerating. So by blipping the throttle just before engaging a lower gear, we can prepare the engine for that gear. Already pre-emptying the speed it'll need to be doing to keep up with the rear wheel. That is why it's called rev matching, because we're trying to match the revs to the next gear. The technique to do this isn't too difficult either, but it does take a bit of practice to master. You want to gently blip the throttle so that the revs pick up, while simultaneously pulling the clutch in and clicking it down a gear. And right when the RPMs peak from your blip, you can release the clutch. And since you've matched the revs, you can release the clutch quickly rather than feathering it out. Because the feathering technique is only used to slowly get the engine up to speed, which we've now already done by rev matching. It all comes down to timing. Being able to pull the clutch in and downshift fast enough to be able to release the clutch as soon as your revs peak from the blip of the throttle that you gave it is the hardest part to learn. The coordination will take some practice and you will definitely get some jerky shifts while you're practicing, but I promise you that the learning curve is worth it. But the question is, why would we want to speed up the engine prior to engaging a lower gear? when ultimately the engine will end up doing the correct speed anyway without any interference. Well, there are quite a few benefits you can get from rev matching. Firstly, it's just faster, because you don't have to slowly let the clutch back out after downshifting. So you could shift down through more gears in less time. It will also result in engine braking being less harsh, so you don't get forced forward on the bike. This is especially handy if you frequently ride with a passenger who is prone to headbutting you every time you downshift. If you were to release the clutch quickly after downshifting without rev matching, the back wheel might lock up, while the engine and back wheel agree on a speed that they both like. A lot of modern bikes have slipper clutches, which allow the clutch to disengage so that the wheel doesn't lock up in these situations. But rev matching will also stop the rear wheel from locking up when downshifting too quickly. Hence why even with modern solutions, it's still a good technique to learn. In fact, a lot of high-tech new bikes are coming with quick shifters and auto blippers built in. Meaning all you have to do is push the gear lever down without pulling the clutch in or rev matching. And it will automatically blip the throttle for you the perfect amount. It is really cool technology, but I still think it's more fun to do it yourself. A lot of race bikes have auto blippers these days as well. But even before that, racers would rev match into corners so that they could downshift faster and keep the rear wheel spinning, which makes the bike more stable. And finally, it sounds awesome. I originally started rev matching before I even knew what it was called, simply because it sounds cool and feels smoother. Not to mention, when you get your rev match spot on, it makes you feel like Marquez. But anyway, share this video with a mate who needs to learn to rev match, subscribe to learn more biker jargon, and I'll see you on the next ride.